Millions of foxes, mink, raccoon dogs, and chinchillas spent their entire lives trapped in tiny wire cages before being killed and skinned in the name of so-called fashion. Not only are fur farms a disaster for animals, they are a ticking time bomb for pandemic disease too. Since April 2020, COVID-19 outbreaks have affected more than 440 mink fur farms globally and the number keeps rising. Not only does the virus affect the animals, it's also a public health concern. Due to these health concerns, Denmark, Sweden and Italy have all suspended mink farming. The World Organization for Animal Health and the World Health Organization have warned that the risk of COVID-19 spread on fur farms and transmission between farmed mink and humans is high in Europe. And due to COVID, raw mink skins have been declared unsafe for international trade. Yet, despite the serious concerns, most fur producing countries continue to allow intensive fur farming to continue, even after outbreaks are confirmed on mink farms. Implemented measures, including monitoring and biosecurity, have proven insufficient. Mink farms are still becoming infected with the virus. The spread of COVID-19 on fur farms and the risk of transmission to humans is a global issue that requires urgent action. More than 800,000 global citizens have signed a Fur Free Alliance's Stop Deadly Fur petition calling for an urgent end to fur farming worldwide. The G20 summit is the ideal opportunity for global leaders to take urgent action on the risks posed by fur farming to both public and animal health. We call on the G20 leaders to act now to stop deadly fur.